Hi everyone, it's Vicky here today designing for Bramble Fox and I'm using a cute perspective that's available in the store and you can see it right here. It says Snapchat and it's got some of those little ghosties that go with the Snapchat logo. Lo logo. <laughs> so I cut this cup file um, twice. I cut it in white and I cut it on this fabulous um, Vicky Bootin Let's Wander paper. Um, I sort of had an idea to do some white, some coloured, but actually in the end I use it mostly in coloured. I stick these two together just to make it a little bit more um, 3D uh, so the colour goes on top of the white. So I'm just using some wet glue there to just stick them together. I didn't really need to do that in the end, but as I'd cut it, I thought I may as well. So those white um, speech bubbles I didn't use, but I can keep them, they're perfectly cut, I can keep them for a future project. So there we go, so stuck together there, and it looks fabulous on the white cardstock. So now I have these two photos of my dog from Snapchat, and um, why not, right? So I thought I would use those, and then these are the insides of the um, speech bubbles in their rainbow Rainbow order? No, they're not rainbow order, but this on this sort of rainbow paper. So I just sort of put those back in, and that's that's how I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to embellish on top. So I'm taking the plastic off of the back of the um, perspective. Um, there's also some on the front, so be sure to get that off so you've got a nice shiny surface. So I'm just doing that on the words and on the little ghosties. And I'm thinking to myself that these ghosties are too bright for for my layout, for the yellow on the layout. So I just put a little bit of white gesso on each one, very thin layer with my finger, and that just dulls them down a bit, makes them look, look a bit more opaque, and they match with the layout perfectly. So, okay, I've, I've done those, and I'm going to start to do some embellishment. This paper here is a specialty paper. It's sort of a vellum with um, gold foiled stars on and it's really lovely. So I cut a few of those out, which I'll skip through in a second, so you don't have to watch the whole process. There we go. And then I pull out another paper which has lots and lots of glasses on them, and I thought they were great for the layout. So I cut out three of those as well, um, which I skipped through. Okay, next I'm looking at the chipboard stickers, and there's more glasses, so why not? <laughs> and some nice gold sparkly arrows, which I'm going to use to point to the pictures. <clears throat> the layout you see here isn't going to be the same. I'm sort of just picking up things and placing them on without much thought to it. So um, everything sort of moves around ultimately. So, okay. Just some stickers there. I'm just taking the sticky off the back of them so that I can place them down. That one I really like. It says I'm here for the food, which Buster is generally, but actually I don't use that in the end. I couldn't make it quite work. So, But I will use it on a photo with him one day because he does love his food. Okay, so I'm just getting out some um, die cuts from here. There's more glasses, but again, I can't make those work. They're just a bit too big. Um, I think I put in a flower. Um, You'll see me do that a lot on boy pages, although this is a boy dog, I don't care, I'm putting flowers on because I like flowers. So, um, yeah, get over it. <laughs> I don't know, maybe maybe everyone does it, but um, I, I know some people don't like flowers on male layouts, but I, I don't care. To me, it doesn't matter. It's The layout for me is all about how it looks, not about who's in it. Because <laughs> maybe I'm selfish, I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> I digress. I noticed my camera's a bit wonky on this um, this video. Sorry about that, if it's uh, putting you off. Um, so, right, so I'm sticking my um, cut file down to the page. I'm just sticking the middle for now because I want to tuck some things under. So, uh, yeah, so I'm tucking my photos under the cut file. That's that one there. And just cutting, sticking a bit more down. So they overlap those speech bubbles, but I don't care about that. Um, you know, some of it will be covered with the speech bubbles, some won't, but that's fine for me. Um, you know, some people want to cut them to the size of their photo, cut their photo to the size of the speech bubble, but I'm not worried about perfection like that. 
So I'm just going to back all of these speech bubbles and put them back in. Um, and I cut through that so you don't have to see it. But I've cut, put some foam on the back of each one and then I um, stick them down in their relevant places. There we go, that's the last one to stick down. They're slightly offset, um, they're not perfect to the speech bubble so that it just adds a bit more texture. Okay, so now I'm just gonna start sticking down the embellishments and I'm pulling them back in and just putting them where, where feels nice as I go rather than worry about where I had them before. So, um, yeah, I think I put down the perspective first, the Snapchat, just so that I make sure that I've got it where I want it. And actually, I do wish I put it up on the right now, but, um, but I decided to go central. And the little ghosties are down there. I don't, I guess they're ghosts. Are they ghosts? I don't know. Someone will tell me if they're not. <laughs> they look like ghosts, but I don't know what ghosts has to do with Snapchat. Anyway, that's probably my age. Probably if I was 15, I would know, but anyway. <laughs> so, okay. So I'm going to stick down my perspectives. I use some, um, what's it called? Let me just find that. It's called Beacon 3-in-1 glue for, for big perspectives like that because I find that it dries really quickly and it's pretty strong glue. Um, you could also use glossy accents, but I've run out at the moment anyway. So, um, but that works pretty well. Okay, so now I'm just going to go around and stick down all the little bits and pieces, the glasses, the stars, the arrows, the stickers, all those things. And I sort of tried to go a bit tone on tone with the glasses and the stars just to um, add that element there. So we're just going down, more stickers being stuck down. Okay, I've got a little pin chipboard sticker there, which I'm going to stick on. I'm going to pull out the sticker sheets and see what we can do there. And I pick out a word sticker there that says, love this, put it on the pink star. I think that's it for the stickers. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is get out some Nouveau Drops in a nice sort of uh, pale blue colour. And I'm going to do some uh, just little enamel dots around. My Nouveau seems to have got thicker, actually, because I've had it for a while. So they kind of go very three-dimensionally, but I'm, I'm happy with that. They look pretty cute. Okay. And I think that's it. Yep, that's the final layout. I hope it gives you some inspiration and that you enjoyed watching my process. If you have any questions, please let me know. And I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel. Um, I try to upload sort of four videos a month, so um, you should be able to watch those. And that's all that's left to say is this has been Vicky for Bramble Fox. See you next time. Bye-bye.